You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is Black Hollywood Live, The Beat. Featuring the week's roundup and commentary on music news. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live, The Beat. That's what I say. What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity. We're here in studio for The Beat here on Black Hollywood Live. I'm joined by the rapper. His name is Jayco. What up, boy? What up, what up, what up? We about to get two out. I don't even really think you're really ready for this. <laughs> you know I have my favorite peoples in the world. We have Mr. Sean Allen. And the queen herself, Miss Queen. Hey, hey, rapping New York, hey. Hey, we rapping New York, hey, hey, we rapping New York, hey, hey. hey. All right, but before we rap New York, we gotta rap a little harder than that because we all know what came out this week. <laughs> Sean's so mad at me. Nicki Minaj, the pink print. Boop. That was she doing. Down a block from my hood. She from Baisley. I'm from Farmers and God Brewer. The trash is part of New York. Get Whatever. your life. Uh, trash it. Not, not. Staten Island, boy. <laughs> right. We want to talk about an island built on trash. <laughs> right. Literally. <laughs> okay. Legit. Um, all right, so Nicki Minaj's The Pink Prince album came out. We all get a, get a chance to listen to some tracks off yeah. of it. I listened to a few. How, how do you feel about what we got? Trouble I think butter. she's all right. Um, Truffle and, butter? I like it's truffle favorite butter. Favorite instrumental. I That's like my favorite instrumental butter. in the truck. It's all right. It's cool. <laughs> all right. You know what? After her interviews, I revisited. I was told him earlier, and I was like, okay, now I can fuck with it a little bit. But with this D'Angelo and J. Cole coming out, which is full of we substance gotta get and real that. music. We gotta wait. You know. But she dope, though. Like, I like her contribution as a black woman to, you know, <laughs> she's trying to knock the rap queen off her throne. So Who's that? Who? Yeah, Who's that? Because oh, there God. is nobody. Girl, no. Wait till this motherfucker uh, bring... We need a Brillo pad for oh, your damn Oh, God. Mode. Please don't let him start today. Talking about fucking Miley Cyrus's fucking aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. Oh, oh, dang. <laughs> All right, before we get into that, because that's going to go somewhere, <laughs> Jay, what are you thinking about, what's your uh, perspective on Nicki Minaj as far as where she came from, what she's doing for hip-hop, and where she, this her singles have been I, recently? You, you know what? I haven't really heard too much of of her newer stuff. I know that... I know she came from rapping with Gucci. <laughs> you yep. know what I'm saying? And then I felt like when she she kind of when she was wearing like the the colorful stuff, she she lost me. Really? She, it, but, but with her dressing and and with the new material and how she's carrying herself now is more um oh, excuse me, I'm bumping into stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so but big. it's more it's, it's, it's more so big. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes you like like my mom, my mom downloaded the album. Wow. And so I'm like, okay, if mom's gonna mom's gonna down, maybe I need to check this out because you know, mom's gonna and it's rap. You know, she don't listen to too much rap, so I'm like, let me let me get this a listen and see what she's about. So I'll be checking that out. Soon. What's your perspective as far as females in hip hop right now? Bars are bars. If if, if she could spit, let her go. You know what I'm saying? I just I, I don't like when they play too much on the. I mean, I understand sex sales, but. Uh, you know, it gets a little, little bit excessive with some of them. So, know? would you say for female artists? Because it's interesting to me, how many people say there aren't females in hip hop? But if you really go online and do your them. research, but the ones that ain't selling aren't up doing yeah. partition, please. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like half naked, dragging a coochie. Yeah. Let's really, let's really think about it though. Who? It's her competition right now. Dude, there's so many people. I mean, she has no competition she because she has absolutely uh, no competition there, right now. There's there's comp, but I don't think you but guys will not, agree. But they, you oh. know who you know who I'm gonna say, and it's not it's not even based off off of the, oh. the music. Iggy. No. Look, Are and, you listen, and I'm not, no, 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 no. Before you go there, let me let me explain. All right now, Jay it's not it's not. I'm not saying that she's better. I'm saying based on where where Iggy's what what, what she's doing as far as success. She she's not up at that level, but she hasn't been doing it as long as Nikki either. She she's she's pretty successful. So uh, the reason for me to kind of like look at that in a don't, different don't, perspective. Don't, don't drag me. No no I, no, I'm gonna drag, so I don't know what she's gonna do. But I look at it like 
Nicki Minaj, what Nicki Minaj has done for hip hop. Mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj started hip hop. Her mixtapes, hip hop. Uh -huh. Those bars are ridiculous. And so as she became, got into pop culture, we saw in the interview with Angie Martinez. Um, uh, no, it wasn't. It was Azalea Banks talking about Nicki yes. Minaj. She said, look, at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj knows what she has to sell. She knows who, who half of her audience is. So she balances out. That's why I like this album, because I think it has a great balance of pop and hip-hop. So for me, what Nicki Minaj did is what Lil' Kim was trying to go down the path uh -huh. of. I don't know if y'all remember when Lil' Kim did uh, with Cyndi Lauper. She sang Time yeah. After Time. Mm -hmm. In Africa, right? Yeah, and it was like, yeah. no, I don't think it was in Africa. I think it was in New York, but it was for African yeah. benefit or something like that. And I loved the idea of it, because Lil' Kim, that's something different. Yeah. What female in hip-hop, I mean, Queen Latifah, like, no one wanted to hear that jazz album. No shade, girl, but I'm it. <laughs> you know what I mean? For who that in hip-hop, yeah. it was a dope album, but I mean, you know no, what I'm saying. No, I'm talking about the Cindy Lauper and Lil' Kim. It was a thing. dope concept, yeah. but Lil' Kim needed some vocal lessons before she was going to try and do all that. With Nicki Minaj, I feel like she waited long enough. She's clearly had vocal lessons because the tracks on here that she's singing on mm -hmm. sound piano, better yeah. than what we've heard in the past. So she's elevating herself as a hip-hop artist. With Iggy Azalea, I feel like now you have a pop artist playing Broadway. Like, here's my hip-hop show, y'all. Like, it, two totally different things. So I do see the competition in it, but to me, at the end of the day, there's really no competition. competition. No, because, no, sale-wise. No, 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 I'm talking about as far as, like, like, yeah, as far as sales, as far as where, where her songs are on the charts, you know what and I'm saying? And is up for a fucking gr multiple okay. Grammys. That's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. And I know you're going to go with that, too. <laughs> okay. No, you know what? I'm going to give her her... Pr I'm, okay, let me tell you something. I have a love-fucking-hate relationship for her. I love, I love her style. I know her makeup artist. She's dope. I love how she, her image is... I love her image. In regards to her... Um, not respecting this. She's clearly in this for bread. She doesn't give a damn about the culture. She doesn't give a damn about anything. She don't care about black people, Spanish people, whatever. She just here. She rapping from Australia in a country accent to appeal to us so that she can make money. I just feel at the end of the day, I just want her to respect this culture a little bit more than what she's doing. I'm not going to say she's not worthy of a Grammy. I'm not going to say she's not worthy of the respect that she gets because everybody, she, you know, she paid her due. She's working hard. Do I agree with everything that Iggy does? Absolutely not. I just feel she needs to show some respect. I'm a New Yorker. I'm all about respect. She has absolutely none for this culture. None. Man, oh. I, I can't even argue that. You know what I'm saying? None. I was I was just going on the pure the, the, the competition part. It, you know, I, I don't really li I don't follow too much of what she what she uh what saying about. on Twitter and all of that. But if she's going that route where she's being disrespectful, then. Yeah, no, that's blatant, not that's a no-fly like, zone. Blatant, 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 like she could well, give two fucks about us. So we'll talk about that because uh, it got really deep with that Azalea Le Banks in, uh, interview. Wow. Uh, but let's stay on the Nicki Minaj because so it's she's proje projected to sell 165,000 albums, uh -huh. uh, which will actually put her as her second, if it is to go through with that, it'll be her second out number one album. Okay. Um, so not congratulations to that. No, not her no, third. second. It's just her second. Um, the number one, uh, the highest first week sales uh, in hip-hop for 2014 was Rick Ross's Mastermind, sold 179,000 copies, so maybe she'll be able to do it, outdo that. But I doubt it because I was really surprised the day the Pink Print Pink Print was number one from pre-sales. The day the Pink Print came out, D'Angelo's album was number one. Uh, wait, wait, the biggest, the biggest rap album this year is J. Cole. Mm -hmm. 375,000. Yeah. First, yeah. first, first week. week, no okay. promotion, no marketing. Sorry, this was from based off last week. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, J. Cole. So, let's just... Uh, well, before we get into J. Cole, that interview with Nicki Minaj, she started speaking about her relationship Safari. with Safari. What did y'all think about that? I thought it was... Well, did you, did you get th think it was authentic or a PR stunt? A little bit of both, probably, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I list, I went back and listened to her music after the interview. I was like, okay, let me listen to this with a different ear. So it was real and it was authentic. Whatever, whatever they were trying to sell on that, her being a real person, they sold it and I purchased it. Mm -hmm. And you know, but I think it was real. I think most of it was real because um, Angie Martinez is not that type of DJ. She, Angie Martinez is like the real deal. Yeah, and she don't. You know, it was real. You know what I'm saying? Because Angie Martinez is not that type of DJ. You know what I'm saying? So I think it was dope to see her in that light and to see her serious and talk about something real and 
something that we all kind of, we all been in bad relationships and you know what I'm saying so we could all relate to it but we all speculated this about her and Safari for years mm-hmm. and for her to kind of confirm what we've kind of known you know what I'm saying was dope and um so gave her it made her human I'm glad she didn't I hate to say this and you're gonna think I'm bashing and I'm not I I'm glad she didn't take the Beyonce approach in the sense of I feel like with Beyonce there's a disconnect because she won't speak on that type of a level. Yeah, she and, wants everything private. And that's fine. I, I appreciate that. But with Nicki Minaj, I'm very appreciative that she had that conversation and really looked the camera in the eyes, looked uh, Angie in the eyes and said, look, I was with this dude for 15 years. I've only been in this game for six, seven years. Yeah. She was like, so this is deeper than mm. media. Y'all can mm-hmm. say what you want to say. This is deeper than all that. And then she really got emotional. It was just like, that's, that's like, what I want to see from an artist. That's the real shit. Now I believe. Vulnerability, showing that you're human. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's, and, uh, that's Back that's to awesome. the Angie Martinez thing. Like, if she would have done that same interview with The Breakfast Club, a Hot 97. It, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have had that emotion. Right. I, Angie Martinez is the real deal, yep. so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, that was that was real. That wasn't a PR stunt. Um, all right, so let's talk about some great PR. Mr. J. Cole, 2014 Forest Hill Drive album. Congratulations. Congratulations. 375000 in its first yeah. week sales. Yeah. With no marketing, no promotion, no, no nothing. Features. No features. Beyonce who? Beyonce, huh? No. <laughs> you know what's dope, though? Like, they all come from the same team, kind of. Yeah, Rock Nation, Jay-Z, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that was dope. And um, I I ran it on this on Twitter, and hours later, he tweeted, J. Cole tweeted yeah. what I was talking about. That says Forest um, Hills Drive, though. Is he that's from Queens? Address. No, that's Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. That's his child at home. Um, I think that kind of, like, um, what everybody say about the industry and the music now, that kind of, like, slaps everything in the face, like, People say, like, you got to be gimmicky and got to do this and do that and have all these features. This nigga just came out of nowhere with the, he kind of pulled the Beyonce stunt. Rap dude, you know what I'm saying? Three hundred Just for hip-hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all so really like, it? And no features, no no big producers, no nothing. Strong, strong following. 375. But Not I, only that, people saw him out. Yeah, you know, yeah what the doing a protest. Do. Doing a protest. See? People respect him because he was out in the pro- he didn't have no bodyguards or nothing. He out there holding hands with everybody else. He's just in the midst of everything going on. His face had been shown on social media, and it just proves how social media is very is a very powerful tool. But he was tweeting like he was like whoever got a he tweeted like whoever got a copy of my album, tweet me your address and I'll come to your house. And he went to some raggedy ass apartments in Philly and was just in people's apartments. Cause he's real. Like, he's that's why. That's why. So, I love that's him. And he just put out of my buyer's album. Um, yeah, he's one hundred. He's. I love him. I love him. You gotta the respect. Him. You should buy it because the album is really dope. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> no, it's it's really dope. Literally, like really dope. Almost every song. Really. If not every song. Really, he's really Hip-hop he's talented. Needed that. And it, and it doesn't it's it's got a it's got a real like like it's nostalgic almost the feel of the album it's 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 almost like he took you like some years yep. back you wow. know what I'm saying What's the last track where he does I, I that's my favorite um oh my god we, we're, uh it's like the thank yous, and it goes into the thank yous, and he's singing on it, and I'm just like yes J Cole I know, he's 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 real he looks worried. I can't with you. (laughs) Get your fucking life. Well, I'm worried because (laughs) Lifetime talking about another biopic, y'all. They talking about bringing Destiny's Child the biopic. I'm like, first of all, these bitches ain't dead. Like, Beyonce (laughs) is still living. (laughs) Destiny's Child's still gonna probably come back with a reunion or nothing. Like, calm the fuck down. Like, TLC just came out with theirs. Like, no one know about what happened with Tavi Latoy. We all saw her on Diary on MTV. I think I think they want to do that. I think they're noticing that the biopics is called is causing. You got to think about companies, oh. big companies. Like the I've memes, worked on a show. Yeah, the that. they want to bring that attention to Lifetime. That's probably the mo- Aaliyah. Yeah. That's brought the mad black people to Lifetime. That's so funny. <laughs> yep. They did do, they doing Whitney Houston or did the Whitney Houston? That's gonna bring mad black people to Lifetime. If they do Destiny's Child, that's gonna bring black people to Lifetime. So what's gonna happen? People are gonna start to be intrigued about Lifetime, like the show I worked on, Girlfriend Intervention. It was wh- black girls taking care, um, making over white women. Like they, th- Lifetime want- is curving into Lifetime want to curve market. urban. Into- Lifetime wants to curve into the urban market. Of so course. I think that's why they're doing these things. 
Well, but I just smart. feel like if you're going to curve into the urban market, do it right. Yeah. No, but no, they no, don't need hit. to do no damn Destiny show. I say this show. all the time. I say this all the time. People talk so... You said this will be a hit? They no, can't use the music. They talk so much shit about TLC. That TLC movie was... Uh, it was legit. Oh, no, that the one TLC was legit. movie was... No, that well, was hold VH1. Up. That's VH1. Hey, hey Lil that's Lil not Mama Lifetime. Thing yeah, yeah but that's VH1. Are they all Viacom? No. not I don't think Lifetime's Viacom. Lifetime has not... Lifetime is not Viacom. Lifetime... Alexis, A&E. can you look that up? Lifetime is A&E. Lifetime needs Yeah, let me take, check it out. It is A&E. They not get checks from them. She, Lifetime she, is A&E. They got it with Disney. Disney. Owned by Disney. They got it. They, oh. I think they should let this be, though. They what? To, they like, why are we chill. touching this? Let's like, chill. Beyonce ain't going to get mad at <laughs> Lifetime. Like, the Beehive ain't going to do something. And they should be. And we are not going to ruin Tanashi's career because that's who they talking about pulling oh, as Beyonce. Tanashi. Please! Listen, What's she going to be like? Say my name. I thought that... I thought that was like a good part of the Sony, like, like Matthew Knowles gave them like a script or an ideal to Sony, and that was part of the hack. It's a, it's. I mean, this is all an allegedly rumor, right. but it is in talks to I do think something about in it. It'll be legit. No, he. I don't. No, because well, they won't be he able to use a- the. They won't be able to use the music, and we already see what that does for people. Yeah. <laughs> we saw the last damn biopic. Oh. We don't need to do that to Destiny's Child. <laughs> they, they, Please. They, they can't use her music either. But then, no, they can is, use her music. Nah, Ours is covers. Oh yeah, and they're gonna have what's her name, Cece, uh, Deborah Cox. Uh, Deborah Cox. To the I local. didn't know that. All Whitney Houston th- hit songs are remakes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I will always love you, Dolly Parton. Uh huh. What else? Uh, I'm Every Woman. Yep. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Yeah. She Shaka was Khan. pregnant in that Shaka video. Uh, really? With, with Bobby Christina, I remember that was my favorite video. I was in high school. I love you. Um, all right, well, yeah, you <laughs> uh, I was going to go with the, a, a pregnant rumor, but we won't go with that. Please. So Rihanna has become the creative director for Puma. Good for you, Rihanna. I don't know if it's going to get people in Pumas, but good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I could kind of see it if they kind of rev up there uh, with a Rihanna vibe. Puma's reputable. You know what I'm saying? Like, She's going to be the director for the women's line. So that means so, they're going to remix Pumas, period. She's yeah. going to have a say-so in a design yep. and everything like that. because. Not even- and this is a multi-year partnership, so this ain't just like right, first season. So they, they must have, some, <laughs> they must have some, some good ideas. I think Puma's still, Puma still hot, but we're just not wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Puma's still hot, but we just not wearing no, it. we black people, uh, yeah, we're nah. not wearing it. Because Tommy Hilfiger's still on fucking Rodeo. Who wears that? We don't wear that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I ain't worn Tommy Hilfiger since 1997. <laughs> that's, that's a <laughs> Maybe thing. Maybe 2001. That's the thing. We're not wearing it. Old white people and Asian people are still wearing that. Asian people be rocking okay, Puma. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's what like the is. Italian guys be rocking in Pumas too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, for Tommy like Hilfiger is literally on pay. Rodeo Drive. Still on Rodeo Drive. Hey, Jesse. Yep. Um, there was no connection between VH1 and Lifetime. Yeah, yeah Lifetime yeah. is A&E. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can see out of Puma is the the classic Puma shoe, that black and white one. There we go. I used to wear that for soccer, y'all. Or the fake shell toes. Uh, the Puma the shell fake toes. ass shell toes. I can't. So hopefully Rihanna will be able to spice up some life for to Puma. Bring it to the hood. Yes. All right. Let's finish the topics off with Azalea Banks. <sighs> This is the best interview uh, of the uh, week. Um, of the year. I'm getting love for her now. Yeah, like, of the year, huh? that, no, that really was. Cause she Wait, Jesse to... got to lead us. We got to know what you were talking oh. about, Jesse. What's up? Well, well I'm just I, saying, I, I, Azalea Banks, she sat down um, over at Hot 97, and she had a lot to say. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, let, we're just going to open it up and start with the first one. Because I know <laughs> it's just been sitting on your mind, just posting out, the, what did you post on Facebook? Uh, the white queen of hip-hop and all, everyone oh, mad. Rap queen. rap queen of hip-hop. So, Azalea Banks, obviously, they came on, they said, yo, what is your problem with Iggy Azalea? And Azalea got really emotional. She feels like, exactly kind of how you feel, Queen, like Iggy Azalea disrespects the culture. She's not a part of it. She doesn't choose to be a part of it. She feels like she tries to uh, almost be ignorant to the conversation that needs to be held. Mm Mm-hmm. So when they said, um, well, Azalea, you know, it's kind of the way you approach the situation, uh um, you know, that people aren't listening to your music. Because she's aggressive. The interview came off, there were parts where it kind of came off like she was a little bitter, which I understand 
why she would feel that way if Iggy Azalea just comes on over here. And the difference for me out of this interview was listen, what I heard was Azalea Banks, you're a creative artist. Iggy Azalea is not a creative artist. She is a created, created. artist. Right. When you sitting up there and you give a blank canvas to somebody and say, okay, do what you want with this and sell it, they can put whatever they want on that canvas. And then it's sold, but you have to live with whatever they put on that canvas. Now, as you though. as an artist paint that canvas and you try to sell it, it's harder to sell because some people may not like what's on that canvas. But you'll be able to get more for your money to the right seller. And that's what I need Azalea Banks to understand out of this because I get the anger, I get the frustration, and you know, cr uh, being upset for your community and all this, but. What I got from the interview is that there's no growth with Azalea Banks. What I need Azalea Banks to do is get it together. I understand she's 23 years old, but instead of coming at Iggy Azalea and being mad at Iggy Azalea and calling T.I. a coon and coming at Tiny and <laughs> doing all this stuff, be the change. Be the change. Because what you're doing right now is people are looking at you like Kanye West. And it's like, well, whatever you say. Yeah, you know what? That I was watching the interview, and a dude from the next room came in and was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and I explained the situation, and he watched a little bit. And he was like, you know, she's a really smart girl, and she has a lot of emotion. I really respect that. He said, but that mouth. And that's going to tune you out. It really is going to tune people out. What I need Azalea Banks to do is instead of attacking Iggy Azalea, because this is what we do in this country, Come out and is take we over. attack that, but, but educate. Yeah. Don't get mad at Iggy Azalea because she's ignorant. Educate her. Now, if she chooses to not use what you're educating her with, on her. That's on her, and you move on, and you be the best that you can be. But be, be sitting up here, con white bitches, these white yeah, bitches in the oh, industry, that's what she those was white I bitches. Didn't get a chance to, uh, I didn't get a chance to oh, get into wow. it. It's good. You know, because I, you know, my 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 like for Azalea Banks was a little, you know, shaky, Why? shaky, shaky, because of her mouth. Uh, I probably felt course. the same way. I, I'm sure I felt the same way about her. But after I watched this interview, it's like. This girl is really smart. Everything she said was real. Yeah. But her approach was very, very aggressive, too aggressive. And she said that she feels like she said she don't have nothing else in this. I don't she don't quote me on this. I have nothing else in this world but my creative art and my culture. And these white people are taking what I've created for myself and profiting off of it. And that's not fair to the black people. And that's real. You it know what is. I'm saying? They're moving and, us out. Um, you know, she was, what did she say, capitalism? You know what I'm saying? She said this is country built off. She's saying everything that I was yeah. saying, but everything. So, so my my rants make sense. Go, yeah. no one said they don't. I know you don't, because you love me. <laughs> Fuck <do>. that. <laughs> Fuck the chairs from the cling up across the table. You feel me? But my rants, I'm telling you, I don't rant for no reason. I'm speaking for I'm speaking for the people who feel like we're being ignored. That's what she said, smudged. Smudged and cultural smudging. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like she's like, uh, these people, these white people take our culture and then like the Macklemore, Iggy Lazelia, and it's like this undercurrent fuck you under it. Like so they'll take what we do and make millions and millions of dollars off of it and under it they'll say like they'll say fuck you black black person you created this but we white people are taking it and making it something else and we're not even going to acknowledge you isn't that what happened with america yeah. christopher and columbus so, yeah. isn't I that mean, what happened nobody, but africa? nobody ever pays attention to native american yeah. situation right <laughs> right because right. yeah. i grew up on a reservation Nation, so right. i heard that whole shit and you guys so it blows my mind to look at stuff like this and you know we sit and but but at the end of the day growing up in that situation it ha makes me look at everything in life with a different approach because you can only complain for so much. Mm -hmm. You have to be the change. You have yeah. to. And I know I'm not going to be the white man up here talking about this, but at the end of the day, as a gay male, mm -hmm. I had to sit there and make a change. I had to sit there and say, you know what? I feel like all these people are affecting me. And No, I can make the change. I don't need that person. That person ain't important in my life, so I don't really give a fuck what you say. I'm going to be where I want to be. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to sell what I want to sell, and I'm proud of it. Azalea for figuring out whatever that tune thing was to get her music on iTunes when she realized that the record label wasn't going to do it for her. So she said, I paid my 75 bucks. I got it on iTunes. Good girl. That's what you need to be doing. Forget these record labels. And that's 
that to me is going to take a pioneer in this industry, and I wish it would be a black female to do something like that, to say, fuck the record labels, I'm going to fucking create my own music, I'm going to make my shit pop, Beyonce, Nicki, all these bitches, who? Like, here's what Beyonce I did. Beyonce already Soldier did Boy one. done did it. Yeah, yes he did. Where's 2014? Ooh, yes he did. Where's 2014 with someone who actually has talent? That's true. We have to it's, change this, it's whole, possible. this. This whole industry is just fucking preposterous. But it, it, it starts with self education. You know, self education. Mm-hmm. You 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 have to be willing to. In order to be the best, you have to be a student of whatever field. It don't matter if you uh, trying to be a doctor, a lawyer, a, even a basketball player. You know, mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta self educate yourself. You gotta you gotta want to sit down and put that time in to, to really learn what 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 you're doing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that you can't be undercut. You know what I'm saying? You 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 know the game better than the people that are trying to play with you. You know what I'm saying? It's I feel like it's it really starts with self educating. Yeah, yourself. and she's 23. She don't know. You know what I mean? Like and who and I'm I'm sure based off how she was talking about her mom, doesn't know how to you know watch over her with these record labels and all that stuff. So yeah, she's gonna get used. She's gonna get abused. She I mean there's something deeper because she was so emotional. She broke down. Cause she's on trying some, to break oh, out another, in America. I, she's I, not I, breaking. She's not. Another thing she's said too which was very very I looked at it differently even the Bill Cosby thing she said yep. like we're going through this the civil rights thing with Mike Brown Trayvon Martin who else Eric Gardner yep. and, and at the height of that you put one of the most iconic black figure the most iconic black figure in family the world, man family man that we looked up to you throw him in a mix of all this civil rights stuff she was like that shit happened for a reason yes and, it did and her she was talking some real shit I'm just like wow you know what I'm saying? Um, so I hope she makes it. <laughs> but but, I, but I, the reason why she's able to do that and act that way is because she doesn't. She's not in it to be famous, and she's not mm-hmm. in it to sell records. She you do it because she loves it. Yeah, exactly. She's passionate about it. You know what I'm saying? Gotta respect and that. She made her bread off. As she said on the show, she made her bread touring, and her fans. She got a huge following in Europe. So she's making mm-hmm. her bread. You know what I'm saying? She's eating. She's living right. So she don't care about. The charts or anything like that, but so that's why she's able to. Nicki Minaj probably feels the same way she feel, but can't say anything because she's on a higher and level. She, and, and she's she's part of that 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 engine, that, that machine. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Can't so, go against that machine. Uh-uh, not when you not when you pull it into it. So but at the same time too, she gave Nicki Minaj props because Nicki Minaj is playing. Their game too. Yes, she is. She, she came out in. Her costume in she came crazy. out in her costumes. She came out in her costumes. Got her name out there. Fourteen million from American Idol. How much was that? How much she got? She got like fourteen million from American Idol. She got a lot of money. That's I just know at set, the end yeah. of the day, she plays the games with them because. Like I said, when she first came out, Nicki Minaj, when Nicki Minaj first came out, she came out in character. This is who she really is, the lady she is today. Uh Black hair, nice couture outfits. This is who she is. But she had to go through her. She had to to pay her dues in order for her to be who she really is. I love love the nigga she is today. She had to come out crazy to get the following, get the fans, and get the money. And she's like, okay, after I get my little momentum going or whatever and sell my records, then I'm going to be... Who I really am, but it also helped. Really it also helped that she um, had a falling out with her hairstylist too. So she was like, "Fuck you," and the they quit. Oh, Iggy, uh, Nicki Minaj. Um, yeah, Terrence. Da- Terrence. Um, so with the Iggy Azalea interview, uh, Iggy, I mean the Azalea Banks interview, I- Iggy Azalea responded on Twitter. Did y'all read these? No, what? I read it too because and there's partial truth in what she's saying, but it's just like girl, yeah, being, it's, she's right. being insensitive to the. How did this the black struggle. One hundred percent, she's being insensitive. Yeah. Uh, so she said, "You created your own unfortunate situation." Who's saying this? Azalea. Iggy Azalea. Azalea. All right. So ready? You listening? <laughs> and then I'm gonna let you get a, get a, a thirty second rant in, and then we gonna move on. So she said, "You created your own unfortunate situation by being a bigot and don't have the mental capacity to realize yet. Probably never will. Your inability to be responsible for your own mistakes, bullying others, the inability to be humble or have self-control. It's you." Special message for Banks. There are many black artists succeeding in all genres. The reason you haven't is because of your piss-poor attitude. 
You're poisonous. I feel genuinely sorry for you because it's obvious at this point you are a miserable, angry human being. Mm. Enjoy continuing to bang your head against the metaphoric brick wall and savor this attention. I'm the only way you get any. <gasps> now rant. Make it racial. Make it political. Make it whatever. But I guarantee it won't make you likable. And that's why you're crying on the radio. <gasps> Twitter, Twitter is oh! What you gotta say? I don't even know. All right, you get your thoughts together. How do you feel about that? Damn. <laughs> she, she just. <laughs> she read her. She read her for filth. <laughs> like honey. <laughs> she read her for filth. I can't stand that girl, but she read her for filth. I don't. This. I, and again, the puppet. Because guess who is behind Iggy Azalea? T.I. No. Boo, girl, why? that's it. The, oh, the two gay, the two, two white gay, gay, gay males. Men. And I'm telling you, that's really why Iggy Azalea is where she's at. Because she, this bitch has two br- older Broadway male gay f- fans behind Queens. her, who, right? Who are saying, "No, girl, for your first tour, you gotta make it epic. It's gonna look like a hotel. Like who goes on a a basic ass tour and has a full out stage the and like, advice, yeah. you know what I mean? Like every video has been." <sighs> Cinematic on point, like these guys, these guys know what they're doing. But go, I just, I just, I, I, you know, I get very emotional when it comes to talking about Iggy Azalea, and I think, I think she needs to just show a little bit of respect. I think she needs to show a little respect. This girl, Azalea Banks, I'm not really that big of a fan of hers either. But from a black woman's perspective, I see, I know what she's talking about. I see what she sees. We are literally getting washed out of our own shit that we uh-huh. created. Should we boycott the, the Grammys? Luma, in the new millennium, in the new millennium, the Grammys, Mac Lamore won. Should we over Kendrick, should, 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 over Kendrick, should, over Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. And that Kendrick album, I'm yeah. sorry, that like, Kendrick album. Like, Jago, like, really, like... Like, we shouldn't even said, be having this yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good thing, good thing Zoe Banks said, she said that you can do whatever she want to do, but don't put her in the rap category. Put her against Katy Perry and Miley Cyrus. Yes! Yeah. And it would be no And it's problem. not a black and white thing. People always think, oh, Queen, why are you always going black and white? I'm not going black and white. I feel Azalea Banks does make it a black and Azalea white thing. Azalea Banks makes it a black and white thing because she's been at this for a very long time and she's still climbing, trying to get to where Iggy is. Iggy pops up out of nowhere yep. and now Iggy is like... The queen, at, the, the rap queen. <laughs> Nikki Iggy voice, Azalea so. is everywhere. She's, you know, she's selling mad records. She got the people behind her, the muscle behind her. But then Azalea Banks, who's been doing this for a long time, she doesn't have the proper people behind her to push her. So she's feeling like it's making it seem like it's a black white thing. Let's push this white girl. She's cute. She's fashion. Because when she first came out, like I said before, I thought she was more of a model or whatever. I feel bad. You know why? Because I talk so much shit about Iggy Azalea, and it's just my luck that they'll call me to do a hair job, and, and, I, and I'm, I can't do. It. But anyway, moving right along, it's just like <laughs> I, do her hair. I, I can't do Iggy here. Queen, this not. bitch would have a full. Okay, maybe you need to, and you could have a conversation with her and I, change her I, life. I, I, no, and I know her makeup artist. I love you, P. You feel me, Priscilla? I love you. I, it's no shade, but t- teach your girl to be a little respectful in this industry. That's all I'm and saying. In this I country and in this country, bitch. <laughs> Especially Please. in the midst of what's going but, on. In the right. midst of everything no that's going on is so think, sensitive. And I, think that's, and I think that is why it is, uh, is getting so much flack now because of what is going on in this country with the black and white issue. I think if Iggy Azalea would have came out two, three years ago with the same effect, we wouldn't have songs, this problem. It, w- it would be a totally, we wouldn't even be, we would be praising it probably. Oh, 100. Bitch, she'd be Britney Spears. But the timing of all this is. Not it's good crazy. For yeah. The bitch need to be seen outside. It's also very interesting. Uh huh. Illuminati. Uh, timing <laughs> that Iggy Azalea is winning a Grammy. The I same can't. year. If she wins, if she wins, I'd be in my conspiracy. I'd be on YouTube in my conspiracy theory. If she. so well. Okay. <laughs> she always read it. I always read it. Hey, it's cute. It's All part right. of the show. Let's go to Jay Go. Let's go to Jay Go. Cause yeah. Jay's yeah. music, on, it Jay-Go. fucking goes. So you from L. A. Born and raised. Born and raised. And he's big, girls. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's single too. I like. He, I'm too big for him. He can't. He, he can't. Oh no! Me. He titled his upcoming album "Drive," so he might be able to drive that. Nah, he, he likes mixed girls. He's an LA boy. Is that is this true? I, you know, yeah. I like. I like mixed beautiful girls. women. 
I like, like beautiful he women. Likes mixed they don't girls gotta be mixed. Who run up? Who run up the mountains for a living? <laughs> anyway, sorry. So Jay Go, uh, you've been doing this for a while. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, your last mixtape was uh, Mr. Goins. Mr. Goins two. two. Yeah. Uh, where does the Mr. Go and the J go? Where does all the go? Where are you going? Oh, uh, man, that's, it's, it's really, it's an abbreviation of my name. My name is Justin Goins. Oh, okay. So it's just, it was just easy, easy nickname. I mean, it was, when I play basketball, they call me that. My dad calls me that, you know, every now and then. Um, and it just stuck, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, the Mr. Goins, the series, because there's a first one, there's a second one. It's just my life, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's I, I I like I pull from real life experience and, and I basically those those projects are my life in song form. And know? with you know, as an artist and coming out of, you know, the West Coast, especially with the West Coast having this huge buzz right now. Yeah. Uh how does it make you think as far as what you want to deliver musically to where the conversation we had today, you know, of being your own creative, not allowing other influences to yeah. kind of, you know, jumping on certain beats or there's certain things you want to stay, make sure you stay away from, certain things that you want to have conversation about? You know, for me, I look at it almost like 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 I'm Neo from like the matrix you know what i'm saying he he was able to to he knew how to how to move in the matrix you know what i'm saying he knew how to play that part but he also knew what the world was like outside of the matrix and how ugly that side can really be <laughs> so i i, I kind of take that and and i take that approach like I speak on everything. I, I be in the club, so I speak on being in the club. You know what I'm saying? I, I also grew up, you know, in, in, on the side of town that was a little, you know, earlier on it was rough. They cleaned it up a lot, but, you what know, part? so uh, West, West LA, West, yeah, what's right West, off Adams, what's, right off Adams. What is West LA? Uh, it, it's just the West, like you know, it's you West have South LA. Central, you have South Central, you have you have Compton, you have Inglewood. It's just another part the of LA. Part it's of like USC, kind of. Okay. Yeah, the, the other side, like going toward the beach. <laughs> yeah, we'll, no. we'll take it there one day. Yeah, yeah, she's no. about to check it out. Like, oh no, 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 no! Don't get me wrong. You <laughs> said they cleaned they, it they, up. They, they, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really nice Black over there. there now, so I'm it's really nice over there now. But but if it's big dudes over there like you, maybe I do need to go over there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Nah, what you were but, but yeah, man, just just. Growing up, I, I've seen things like I, I I speak on. I got a song called Churches and Liquor Stores on my last project where I'm actually taught my verse. I'm talking to the white man like, have you seen what's really going on out here? I understand. You know, I ain't never seen no billboards in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. pushing malt liquor beverage. I'm keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so I can see both sides. I can play both sides. And I think, you know, th that's that's my best ability with, with music. What was it that made you want to make this your life? I loved I loved the music. I love music. You know, and it's funny, I grew up listening to all kind of music. Like when when you What's know everything that you would never we would never think that you'd be listening to. Sam Sparrow. Hmm? Yeah. Is that Stay with me? No, no, that's that's uh, that black Sam, Smith. Sam Sam Sparrow's black and gold. Yeah. Cause if you're not really here, it's kind of like one of those. Um, what kind of beat would that be? Like a, um, it's, it's like I, it's not techno, but it's it's. it's I like can't that even, mellow kind of. It's, it's he's got soul. He's got soul. No, mine's Elevator too much. Music. Like, it's like he got soul. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Similar to Sam Smith esque. You know, but okay. but yeah, but with like like when Tupac and, and all of you know when the West was really, I wasn't listening to that. Really? Growing up, I was listening to Scarface and Outkast, oh. and you know, my dad. I'd be riding with my my dad's from the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? So, I I got his influence, with, which was Scarface and and you know Devin the Dude, and, and you know, and he, he was always playing playing Jodeci, and oh. <laughs> you know what I'm Devin saying? My pop dude. though, man. So. Shout out to my pop. But, oh, uh, <laughs> he loves daddy. Hey, hey, he's a hell of a dude. But um, oh, yeah, God he influenced you. me. He so influenced you, me. You have a music. new uh, right, uh, album that's going to uh -huh. be dropping in mm -hmm. January. Yeah, January 15th. Drive. Drive. So we chant, We didn't get Mr. Goins number three. Nah, not yet. That's coming. I what's, actually just so, started working so on it. So you're that. working on it. So what's the difference between the Mr. Goings and albums versus Drive? What's, the, what's so special about Drive? Drive, you know, with the Mr. Going series, like I said, that's my life. So I'm giving you real life experiences. Drive is is more so. I'm talking my shit. 
I'm talking my shit. I've been humble. My music is humble, but I'm to a point now where, where for the reasons you guys, there's people that I feel at the end of the day, I'm more talented than a lot of these cats out mm-hmm. here. Yeah. And now I'm, I'm, I'm about to display that and I'm about to let you guys know like, with, with respect, of course, to a certain extent, mm-hmm. but, but I have to, I have to talk my shit this time around. That was a very polite answer to talk about you the shit. <laughs> All right. So let's take a listen so everyone can hear what you're really about. And this song is called Boat That Life. So uh-huh. tell us a little bit about what this song represents. This joint is actually, single, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first single. It's actually, this is one of the club joints, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, just took him to the club really fast, and, uh, yeah, man, just, just have fun. On you know? iTunes. On iTunes. Make Get sure that you on purchase iTunes. that right now. She's all about her money. You know, like that That's how you dance with my That's how you dance with my That's how you dance with my Getting extra faded like some old jeans. You about that life, gotta show me. She gon' give it to me like she owe me. A few niggas hating, I ain't tripping no. I got too many bad bitches around me getting low. They all turned when they choosing up. Hard drunk in love like that Beyonce cut. Look, drink, drinking any straight out the bottle. Burning trees with my niggas, taking shots with the models. I'm talking go up with throttle, we won't remember tomorrow. Hey, but that's alright, we gon' live for the night though. Drunk text messages, emojis, and typos. Trying to let a nigga know she bout that life so club pack hot like a song we can take it there if she want to cut hey like jay that. go about that life that be, that goes um so tell us about the fam the fam ent that's my uh my my label shout out to my guy hockey couldn't make it he actually had to go up go up north to handle some business but um yeah man it's me and my my uh my manager and and partner hot black hockey you know what i'm saying we put this independent team together there's another there's another couple artists on there grim and and pluto um shout out flash you know he handles business for us um it's all coming together everything's just falling into place now you know what i mean our from 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 the engineers to the to the videographers to singing to, a hook uh my boy eq no, shout out to eq you know what i'm saying he uh talented dude talented dude can sing but um, we got a tour coming up too. Uh, man, no, maybe, uh, okay. maybe, maybe that's maybe. what I'm, that's that's my I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's my goal. Is you know, first, first, I'm taking a, a promotional promotional tour, going up, you know, up and down the coast, just letting people hear the new single, meeting the DJs, and then from there it's about South by Southwest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Went out there last year and had had the time of my life. Got to meet you know all mm-hmm. the all the up and coming cats that are like on on now. Mm-hmm. You know, so so that was that was really fun and it was it was. Um, it was inspirational. It made me hungry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. More hungry than I already am. But uh, and then after that, I want to put I want to put together my own little tour and, and and you know do my own thing. But but I love being independent. You know what I mean? That's the way to go now. It's, it's everything's coming out of our pockets. You know yeah. what I mean? So so we working hard to. It takes bread to make bread. You Boots. feel me? Scant money don't make money. <laughs> and it's smart because I, I love that mentality of understanding. Because a lot of people they start the independent thing, expecting to, to get picked major. up by yeah. a thing, a, a major. And um, I like the mentality of look. Here's what we're gonna build. We're gonna focus on. We're gonna drive it on our own. Like we ain't worried yeah. about nothing else if something else comes up then we'll deal with it when it comes but we focused here it says 2015 <laughs> is a defining year for you yeah 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 why yeah. cuz man that's 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 going to be the year that everything happens you know what i'm saying make the non believers believers like and them. and just run i'm just, i'm ready to work i'm, I'm ready to work <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm with him. <laughs> Jay ready to go. Right. Um, all right, so then now we're going to play a video. This is called okay. Real Shit. Uh-huh. Tell us about real shit. Now, like I said, I have. I feel like that's my best ability is the ability to play both sides. You heard me in the club. I'm in the club. But this is one where I'm almost coming. To, I'm, I'm being real with myself in order to be real with everybody else. Mm-hmm. So everything that I'm saying on this song is 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 genuine and it's 100 you know and i'm i'm calling out myself on, mm. on some of the lyrics you know and this I mean? is off uh mr going no this is actually on drive this on is drive. gonna be on All drive right. too so let's take a look at that this is jay go real shit it's big ass yeah, yeah. 
Check out. Check out. Look at that coat. Just keeping yeah. it on. Yes. In the car. Look. You know it. Right next to my Bible, trying to get close to my guy. Got me smoking, trying to get higher. Look, gunning for the top spot, turning my idols into my rivals. I know glitter ain't gold, material shit will never amount to my soul. But I still be on that fly shit, cause bitches they like that. But most of these hoes ain't faithful. I guess loyalty, you can't buy that. Man, I'm still working this nine to five while I'm chasing after this rap shit. Bitch, I'm from the bottom, that black boy doing backflips off that mattress shit. I'm mad at me, I'm doing me. Remember riding around with my nigga P, talking about the shit that I do. If they ever let me off in this industry, I ain't have a clue. I was like, <laughs> someone turn your phone on. <laughs> they got T Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet I'm on my way. The realest shit from the fakest dude. You ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready. That nigga don't sound like you ready to get the money. Nah, man. You ready? You just uh, don't know what the fuck he's gonna do with all that money. Don't sound like you ready. Yeah. But no, he's gonna get him some big booty. Man, bitches. can y'all shut? Oh, I can't even hear myself think, man. You hear yourself think. See? You on my head about bro? Nigga tripping, I can't do that shit, man. Man. I can't do some real shit. Relax, relax, take your breath. Yeah, cause bro. I'm looking over no, here like I got some questions for you after this. I know what we doing. We did this before. We did about it. Nobody pulling this car over. That's how you get caught up too. And we're gonna pause it right there because if y'all want to see what's gonna happen, y'all gotta go watch the video. Jay go real shit. Um, All right, let's talk. And I'm not saying that because you're here because I let people have it before. Like I'm I'm into it. I want to. Thank you. Thank you. No, we ain't gonna bring up no names. Honestly, the best policy. If if you didn't like it, I want you to tell me. Oh no, I'll tell you. But now I want to watch it. It's like a movie. Like you want to see what you're gonna do next or whatever. I think you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. I'm intrigued. I wasn't invited to that video set. Oh man, you want to be invited everywhere. <laughs> the next, I got the you on the next one. Yeah. I got you. I had to come out to the next. I'm about to shoot another one in a minute. All right. Well, all right. right. Um, so with that video, I mean, going through that, you're sitting Damn. there contemplating, uh, you know, without getting into legal issues or anything. Is that you know, this is is the That's the life that you came life. from? No, I mean, I mean, I, it's not necessarily the life that I came from. It so was a, it was an idea. It was, a, it was it was a it was more so. If I, it just popped up. The whole theme of that video popped up in my head when I was listening to mm-hmm. it. Like, I think the best way to get this video across would be, you know, and I told the videographer I wanted to be more cinematic. Why mm-hmm. did Why did you want that? Like, because that job. moment thank really you, delivered, you. and it was the perfect timing because it was just, it really caught you off guard, but we were already sucked into the song. Why was that so important for you? It, it's just, you know, the, the main pur- purpose of the video that, that I wanted to give off was everybody has a choice mm-hmm. you can you can make the wrong choice but there's always consequences and repercussions also mm-hmm. to whatever choice you make so mm-hmm. do what you're gonna do but be mindful mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. that was really what my point was I well, all love right him. you are an anointed <laughs> one i gotta say you, jesus done bless you <laughs> I like him. all right thank you good, thank you good. so jago where can everyone follow you uh, follow me on Twitter as Mr. Goins10. That's M R G O I N S 10. And you can follow me on Instagram, and that's Mr. Goins, M R G O I N S. And uh, so we got Drive coming out January. Drive January 15, 2015. But right now, everyone can get Bout That Life on mm-hmm. iTunes. And then make sure you guys go check out because we got to know oh, what's yeah, going to happen. Got, I got one more form. I got one more form. The fam ent.com. That's T H E P H A M E T H A M E N T.com. There we go. We'll so, get that up on our BHL Twitter okay. screen. Um, thank you for stopping thank by you and for sharing your me, honesty. Thank you, and man. Thank, thank you for, for sharing. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Your body with Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you guys make sure you guys hit us up at BHL Online and Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Let us know what you guys think about this whole Iggy Azalea, Nicki Minaj, mm. Azalea Banks. Mm. You know what I mean? Are you mm. Team Sean? Are you Team Queen? Mm. I I'm always know. gonna win. <laughs> Woo! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Follow us at BH Online, also on Instagram at the BTV. You guys can tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Sean Allen underscore underscore. Queen Wink. Till next week. Oh no, actually, we won't be back till the new year. We happy won't see New Year's, y'all, year. and happy holidays. Happy Peace. Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
from producers Maria Menounos, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, Kevin Undergaro, and the entire BHL crew, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I'm your BHL announcer, Scipio. Instagram me at Planet Scipio. Thank you for tuning in. Music, Music redefined. redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of DHL or its owners or principals.